Uh, okay, hello everybody. Welcome to another play view. To everyone who checked out the last one and who maybe actually enjoyed it and watched uh, watched at least some of it, uh, thanks ever so much. I realize that I am not the most thrilling Let's Player in the world, and I doubt I ever will be, but for those who maybe didn't see the first one and are now wondering what this is, this is very much going to be a style of videos in the vein of Let's Plays where I very casually go through games and just talk about thoughts and feelings while I'm playing them. Uh, reasons for being that I am extremely burnt out creatively. I feel very, very drained by YouTube as a whole in terms of how, you know, you roll the dice as a creator, you put a lot of work in and sometimes you don't get out and after three years, I've come to terms with the fact that I need to take a step back and work on some other projects, but I don't want to entirely abandon the channel. So this is what we're going to be doing, a very, very casual style of video just to keep the ball rolling and just so I can at least show off some games that I have been meaning to get to for a long, long time. So today we're going to be playing Moonrunner. Disclaimer, I did actually play about five minutes of this before I went back to check the footage and realized that my sound card was not recording the game. So from what I've played the game so far, I, I really, really liked the look of it. This game is completely free. I've seen it described as Death Stranding in space, which for me, I'm okay with that. And it's, again, it's completely free on Steam. So if you like the look of this thing, download Moon Runner. Uh, from what I've already played so far, I think you guys will like the look of this. So we're gonna restart and go from the beginning. And here we go. I like this cute little animation of the moon guy <laughs> running around the little rock. It's fun. Okay. Small moons controlled by Astral Cortex Industries produce rare energy used for interstellar travel. The monoliths installed across the surface are designed to harvest this energy. When the monoliths malfunction and all standard maintenance protocols have failed, Special units known as Moon Runners are dispatched to the surface to re-establish functionality. It's-a me. Here comes our boy. Hey, there he is. Hell yeah. Scraper Unit 87C5. This lunar node requires urgent maintenance. You are tasked with finding all the monoliths and reactivating them with your suit's cortex energy device. Your suit's energy also synthesizes oxygen for your survival, however, its supply is limited. Once you reactivate a monolith, it will replenish your energy. Thank you for your service. Okay, so we have 10 monoliths to reactivate. So let's have a go. So, uh, I mean, immediately, I was talking about this before, but immediately I, I really love the look of this game. I know the problem is when you're playing so many old games, you kind of grow a bit, uh, oh, nice. You grow a bit desynchronized with what looks good, and <laughs> I very much do that to myself, but... I, I think this game looks great, just right off the bat. I really love the look of this. And again, this this game is is free, and I'm amazed that we're living, you know, at this this point in time where we get such amazing free games. Like, I mean, you think like you think how much this would cost ten years ago, and now it's just a freebie. It's I, this it's cool. It's really cool. Just gonna pick these up. So from what I've been able to gauge from my my very limited time playing this is that I think you just reactivate these monoliths and the game is 
pretty much done. I, I think it is as short as it presents itself to be. Monolith reactivated. You are making progress already. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. Your energy supply will be refilled as long as you are next to a reactivated monolith. When you leave the monolith, your suit's energy supply will re-engage. Use your scanner to highlight nearby stranded modules. Stranded modules can be used to your advantage or traded at monoliths using your inventory. Find another monolith, reactivate it, and await further instructions. Okay, so, yeah, this, this is about as far as I got. I, I got a little bit more, but I, I activated literally one of the monoliths, and then I checked the footage and realized that I was a silly, silly person who forgot to activate a sound driver, so, whoops. Basic module. I've already got so many. Can I carry? Ooh, okay. That's handy. There's a red one over there. Oh, hello. Yep. No. <laughs> I'm gonna beat it to death with a ladder. Okay. Good start on the uh, the combat there. Oh, what did I? Oh, I walked into a rock. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so staying here replenishes my energy, but not my ammo. So I'll need to keep an eye on that. Now oh, there's another one. Oh, he's he's like crawling around. Is he is he active or is he? No, I think he's, I think he's like dying. Hey, buddy. I guess. Okay. I guess he's breaking down. Just look at this slow man, like God, this is a pretty, pretty game. That's I think that's I'm noticing way more this time than I did last time. Uh which way am I going? Basic mode I've already got so way low. Shit! Oh no! <laughs> Spaceman's dead. God, they're mean, man. Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. God damn, that's mean. You die quick. Okay, let's let's see if we can't do a better job this time. So I. Oh, I lost all my modules. I don't have any of them. Does that mean that... Wait, does that mean that when you die... You... Drop everything and actually just get respawned? This isn't a checkpoint system? Right, I need to make sure that I use my shield. Because I didn't use it before. And I feel like that was maybe my downfall. Ladder module. Over there. Oh, hey. What is... What is that? It's like a little floating... Oh, it's all like... It's all misty and spooky. Oh, what is that? That's creepy. Ah! Oh my god, that's so creepy! <laughs> Get the fuck away from me! Ah! Give me. Oh, it's a ladder! 
Fuck off! No! Shit! Leave me alone! Oh god, I'm being chased by heads! Thank god. Okay. Back the fuck off. I can, I can zap you. I don't have a gun, but I can zap you. That's so creepy. There's something here. Let's grab this. Please be a gun. Energy module. So I've... For, for the record, I've never played Death Stranding. I've always meant to. It's on a long, long list of games that I intend to get to eventually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's, that's my weapon, that's all my shit there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's... This is a little bit, I mean, okay, so yeah, I mean, how much of this is just basically Death Stranding? Because I can't... I can't speak for originality in the sense of like, you know, is is this just recycling Death Stranding or is it? Oh, you, oh the weight. Oh, that was that was a, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no no no! <laughs> How do I drop? Oh no! Wait, how do I? Can I draw? Okay, I can. Thank God. Let's let's drop a few. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> My poor boy. But yeah, I I mean I can't speak for originality. I really can't. So, I mean, how how much of this is just a? Oh, nice. So is this literally just Death Stranding? In space? Because... I've seen clips of Death Stranding, and I know there's lots of ladders, and lots of backpack running around, Mr. Mailman style, and I've heard about the whole spooky... I don't know, ghost things. But even so, setting this sort of thing on the moon is a, it's a cool concept. By your continuing progress. When engaged with a monolith, use your unit menu to trade the modules you pick up, then fabricate new modules or purchase upgrades with the fabricate. Wait, fabricate. Oh. Okay. Not enough credits. So I'm gonna. Wait, so where do I get. Trade. Oh, where's that shit I dropped? <laughs> I want it back. Can I go faster? Yeah, look at me go. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna trade some shit out and get a rifle because I feel like I might need it. There it is. Press F to pick up. Okay. Let's... Oh, okay, so do you have to be... I think you need to be on one of those things to trade. Which I guess makes sense. So let's... Let's go back up. My poor boy. <laughs> All this weight he's carrying. At least you're, you know, in lesser gravity, so... You can carry more for less. You know, hell yeah science and all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. A simple module. Okay, so basic modules are literally just there for credits. So as long as I... So I want to keep the energy modules and get rid of that shit. Ah, uh, rifle module required. Okay. So I don't have... I don't have the rifle module right now. 
Oh no, I do have one. What? Did I pick it up before? Oh, maybe it says rifle module acquired and I just read that stupidly. <laughs> Which is very possible. I noticed while I was going through the uh, the mothered video that I was reading stuff wrong all the time. And I don't expect that to change just purely because like this is this is why it takes me so long to re record any goddamn voiceover because I just I read stuff wrong all the time. Okay. Should we pick a fight? Oh. Oh god. God, I like those things from Doom. The uh the souls. Ow. God, they hurt like a fucker. I'm running back. That took off like half my energy right there. Nice. Nice. Okay. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of energy left, though, for my rifle. I'm gonna guess that this is more of a survival thing rather than a kill everything type deal. Where is he, though? I want to see what... I, I want to at least finish him off. It'd be rude not to. Nice. I don't have a lot of energy. I don't have a lot of ammo, rather. Uh. Yeah! Gotcha. So can I use that to... So I can't use that to recharge my... My rifle, though. Okay. To a scan, shall we? Ooh. I'm really enjoying the sound design. I'm loving the the fact that there's like this combination of like everything tangible. Everything tangible is muffled. But then you get the opposite, which is all the you know the bleeps and bloops and everything, which is really, really crystal clear. That's nice. Valuable module, okay. Oh, hey. That is... That is a nice... Goddamn. If you're like a, a space nerd, you should absolutely... I mean, it's, again, this is free, so... Ooh! <laughs> Um, whoops. <laughs> Where is my shit? Please don't be too far away. Warning. Your Warning. Drains over time. Okay, you're fine. Damage or use abilities. When you run out of energy, your suit will be disabled and you will be transported to the last reactivated monolith you visited. Yeah, I noticed. Recharge your energy and monoliths or manually. Alright. I have, I don't have anything on me right now, so I'm... Kind of a sitting dog. But if I can go get my... If I can go get my stuff back, that would be handy. <laughs> Alright, let's... I love... Oh, I, just, I just love everything about this visually. It's so... Like, it really is the sort of game where... If you just want to relax... This is the sort of game where, that I would play to relax. Even though I'm dying. <laughs> repeatedly um this is absolutely the game where i think you could just yeah there, there's my shirt it's on like this little ledge oh okay i gotta i gotta be careful 
It's like deep. And it drag and you're slower as well because you're going through it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Okay, I'm 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 weighing Oops. Uh recharge. Okay. Well that's one way to Oh what the fuck? Oh what the fuck? God, that's creepy. No, not the ladder. <laughs> Put the ladder away, man. It's not the time. Oh yeah, that. The the whole th <laughs> the whole reason I fucking perished in the first place. Valuable module. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! <laughs> okay, there you go. See, we got rid of one of them. It's okay. I've got. I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna use some ladders. We're gonna get out of here. Um. Or, or we could just go this way. Is this is this a bad idea? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it might be. It might be. Let's, let's see. I love how thick and deep that bit of like dust is. Right, come on. Let's go trade in some shit. He's like breathing really heavily as well. Uh, I guess we'll do one of these. Okay, yeah, cool. Acquired. Um, how many credits do I have? A thousand. I, I guess I could get one more. I, I feel like we're gonna run into some problems. Do I need three ladders? Yeah. I, oh, I guess it's... Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Carrying capacity. Uh, ah, yeah, I feel like that could be useful. A lot of levels, actually. I'm surprised that... Again, this is a free game. This is completely free. I know I keep ranting on about this, but I'm just... I'm just baffled at how... How much you can get for nothing these days. It's crazy. Alright, I really should reactivate another node, because... Otherwise, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a thing over there. Don't mind me. <laughs> Stay the hell away from me, please. Does it save when I, when I reach a monolith, or does it just save when I? No, I think it. Oh, progress saved. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. So it's not just a save like checkpoint thing when your you know when you're activating them yeah you can really take your time you know you don't you have to feel like you're rushing in which I appreciate because I really do I, I'm really enjoying this right now um okay I guess we'll I guess we'll go this way. How many annual energy modules do I have? I only have the one, so I need to keep an eye out, really. Valuable module. Up there. Oop. It's... Oops. Okay, well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll go have a gander. Moon stranding. Again, I, I honestly have no idea how much of this is, is quote unquote exactly the same, but I don't care. <laughs> 
Uh, is there anything else up here? Uh, there's a rifle module down there. I'm running out of energy though, so I'm going to have to go back. Oh, it was right behind me as well. Whee! <laughs> I like how with every single one, he's knocking it. Right, let's pick this up and then let's go back. Ooh, nice. That pays for that ladder I just used. Eerie sounding music coming in. Oh! 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 I'm stuck! <laughs> we got a bunch of rifle stuff now, so. I guess that's. I guess that's something. Energy capacity. I feel like this is gonna be. An appropriate next step. So we'll do that. Oh, I never even I never even noticed the map. And I like how it's like a little hologram. Okay, so I I really need to get a move on because I'm not I I have many places to go. Also, that energy... I only got an extra 10. 10 out of a... Can I open these? Oh! Oh, that... That's like a little dodge. I guess... Oh! So if I'm in combat... Oops. <laughs> Uses a lot of energy though. Caution. The core's massive energy output produces a high gravitational field around the lunar node. Your suit will use energy to absorb damage when you fall. The more modules you carry, the higher the damage. Be sure to manage your inventory and upgrade your carry capacity to mitigate energy loss. I guess we'll. Oh, there's one down there as well. I guess the best way to go about this is to slowly pick them off. And if we stay up here, we can go back and reclaim our energy. I only hope that the one that was behind me doesn't decide to get any ideas, because I don't think fighting two of them at one time is going to be fun. Time. Oh, shit. You got a few solid hits for me then. Oh. Oh, they're, they're creepy. Is that- whoa! What hit me? Something hit me. I don't know what. Okay. It might have just been him. Okay, so I, 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 so when I defeat them, I steal their energy. That's good to know. I hadn't realized that. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to use another ladder. <laughs> I can't get over that that little boing. <laughs> oh, that was really um that really uh messed with my head a little bit the way he, he righted himself up then. Can I kick him around? Okay. Let's just have a move on. Okay, we've got a couple of basic what Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, I'm not gonna go back for that now. I really need to hurry up actually, because I only have two energy modules. See this is the thing, you're gonna have to balance picking up basics versus everything else and 
if you get too wrapped up that's pretty if you get too wrapped up picking up stuff you don't need you're just gonna end up slowing yourself down i'm gonna try this way what's where's the map i should be on route if I, i'm going this way so in theory the next one is there i better hurry there we go cave no I'm kind of surprised that and not not that I expect to find many caves on are we are we we're on the moon but the way the game kind of framed it it didn't feel like we were on the moon that sounds like a really stupid statement <laughs> again with the ladder You are extremely welcome. You are with a map oh, we're spinning. So did did that cause this thing to like go into a massive spin? God, that is pretty. How can you not like how this game looks? I, I'm just absolutely fanboying here, but visually. And, and not just visually, actually, because I something I do need to talk about. The atmosphere is really, really nice. It captures everything I would want from this kind of experience. Like the, it's it's so. The music is really slow and simmery, and and it really gives you the impression that you are alone. You know, just beyond just the simple fact that, of, of course, you are. But it also feels really... Oh! 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 I didn't mean to do that! What the fuck?! I think I might have pressed the wrong button. But yeah, just to like get my thoughts out there for a moment, I really love the atmosphere of this so far. You know, it's really moody and it feels like it feels like the sort of experience that you could just lose yourself in for a few hours. And really, if you just listen to that, It's such simple yet effective sound design. And you've got like his like the little puffs of air and a crackling. That's so effective in such a simple manner of delivering it's such a serene yet lonely haunting atmosphere. I, I just I had to get that out of my system because Right now, again, I keep saying it for a free experience. I'm so impressed with this right now. It's so well put together. This is the sort of thing I would expect them to sell for like $15.99. And, and I'd be okay with it because in my mind, for what you're getting, it's, it's up there. Okay. Let's, uh... I, I'm forgetting which way I went. Do I get to see where I died? Dropped modules. That's that's nice of the game to have that on the map. There he is. Little bastard. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, quick! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> no, I'm using the fucking ladder again. I don't know why I'm getting so confused with the with the controls. That might be the one thing that I'm 
struggling with a little bit. I don't know why, because it's not like I'm... I might as well get rid of that. Yeah, I, I don't know why, because I'm not... Controls-wise, this isn't really any different to, like, Lost Planet. Not really. So I'm not sure why this is throwing me so much. But it definitely makes you think. I think it. I think the game does do a pretty good job of actually making you panic. I'm wondering if that's what it is. Because you die so easily that this is not, by any stretch, an easy game. It's actually quite unforgiving at times. And some of that's my fault, because I'm not using my shield enough. I, I also appreciate how, even though this is an experience that you don't have to pay anything for, it's, you know, it's thought it through. It's thought it through how to get you to actually think about it a little more. You know, this isn't just one of those download it, play it for five minutes, and then get, you know, a handful of achievements for nothing kind of experiences. It's... It's genuinely going for a gameplay experience that has a little bit of challenge. Okay, so next up is the... Do I have any... No. I'm okay for rifles and stuff, I think. No, I guess I won't. I guess I don't have enough to warrant upgrades or anything at all. That uses then again. That uses energy as well, so you you can't even just scan repeatedly over and over again to to get constant pings on stuff that's collectible. You are uh, you have to make sure that you're rationing everything. And ammo doesn't last either. I mean, I had like four rifle modules, and now I have two. Okay. Maybe I'm... Oh, I've already been here. Okay. Well, I might as well go and... I might as well go back up and get that module. And redo my energy. Considering how long I might end up playing this for, we might have to do this as a part one, part two thing. I didn't want to have a lot of these playview things have multiple installments, just because for me, I, I feel like I feel like these are more of a one and done thing. Like I play through it, get my thoughts, and then that's all you know. We're there. Uh, oh, we're spinning again. Do we spin every time I use one of those, or is something knocking us? Because at the moment, it feels like. Anything could happen. There's a ladder module. Don't really need it, but I guess I guess I might as well get it. Out of range. Ah! Uh! definitely wiser to run. Like, I could pick a fight with that, and I would, you know, I can win, but is it worth the supplies? Because it's probably not. In a way, this leans more into a survival horror experience than than I, I mean, again, I, this is talking, this is being spoken by somebody who hasn't played Death Stranding. I don't know how much of it is is the, in line with this, but this is definitely leaning more to a survival horror experience rather than one that I was expecting. I was expecting this to be more of a sort of... I was expecting this to be a casual game, actually, from what I had seen of it. I was expecting this to be a really 
chill down, you know, jump up and down on the moon a half dozen times and then, okay, game over. It was fun. I wasn't expecting it to have nearly as much thought and, and, and sort of development put into it. Um, okay. I guess we went that way last time, so let's go this way. Mind you, I don't have any energy modules. So I gotta make sure that I get some... Basic module. Not energy mo oh no! Okay, at least I... Can I make it up there just by walking? Nope. Do a little jump. So even that, even a little jump, takes energy. Everything takes energy. Basic, basic. God, okay. Well, there's one over there. So we can pick these up and then go... Go do that one, so... We should be okay. I just need to make sure that I have enough energy to actually... Oh, it's over there. It's not down there, it's over there. Okay. Should we... Can we do an across ladder? Is that a thing? Yeah. Let's do this. Just for <laughs> achievement unlocked flag. Oh, but now it's like really precarious. Okay, we're good. Monolith deactivated. You can take on extra deliveries to monoliths from the deliveries tab of your inventory. Oh. Deliveries will earn you extra credits for fabrication and upgrade. Okay. Thank you for your service. So it really is Death Stranding in space then, because... I didn't realize there was a whole... I, I think I clicked on this before, but I just didn't clock what it actually was. So I'm guessing this just becomes another module that I... Yeah, there it is. So... So it would be wiser to d always deliver to... Or are, are they all different ones? They're all different ones, okay. Yeah, so it would be wiser to make sure that you're always carrying stuff that's like closer, I guess. Um, I guess I'll take... I mean, I can up my energy efficiency. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Uh... Do I risk it and go for another one? Sure. Oh, reactivated. Okay. Monolith. So I can... Okay, fine. We'll, we'll go for two. In for a penny, in for a pound. We'll go for two. So I guess the more I... The more deliveries I do, I'll probably just end up coming across the other modules anyway. So, yeah, we'll go, we'll go that way. I should probably get an energy module. Oh, There's a lot of credits, though. There's a lot of credits for an energy module. Okay, we'll trade a lot of... And we'll get an energy module. Because I feel like that's going to be... That's going to be the thing that really gets you. Okay. I'm curious about these, like, doors that I keep seeing. 
What was that about? Ah, uh, ladder module. Okay. But like, ah, oh, fuck me. So it's like, do you use the shield to absorb the damage, or do you dodge? Because both are going to use energy. Keeping that open just constantly absorbs energy. I think the dashing, even though it's maybe riskier, I think dashing and dodging around is actually the better choice because you're not using a constant stream of energy. So you can you can at least sort of judge when you need to do it as opposed to just letting energy bleed away. Okay, let's go back. So we're going to make our delivery. Nothing. I'm also curious as to whether or not these respawn at all, because I wonder if you just get to a point where there's there's no modules left. And that's just it. Could really do with an energy module, because that's depleting quickly. God damn. Can I get through? I have to jump. Okay, there we go. Again, even something is trivial as jumping is like this, this this decision that you have to make it, it can't just be a uh, <laughs> it can't just be a, a simple thing uh, see so yeah, deliveries I guess I'll pick up another one um Oh, this really is... I, I could just... Explore this for ages, and I think I'd be happy to. I mean, unlike Mothered, where I... Kind of felt like I was keen to just sort of get it over and done with towards the end. I feel utterly in no rush to finish this. It's just a very relaxing experience. Oh! <laughs> I was saying that in all seriousness, I did not know that was coming. Uh, oh, yeah, this would be good. Do I have anything to deliver? No. I'm curious about the spooky, spooky faces. What's that about? Although I must admit, I've I've completely lost my bearings. That's actually something I hadn't fully realized before. That like this does you do kind of lose your bearings a little bit, and it it disorientates you by throwing you around. And because everything looks the same, the only thing you really have to go by is have I put down a ladder. Okay, we're gonna... We've got to figure out a direction that we haven't been before, and go... More life. More life, more life, more life. I guess we'll go this way, and just 
maybe just try to keep going in one direction for a change. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not careful, I'm gonna run off the edge. Uh. Little bastard. How far do these things go? Can I? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, that changes everything. That's cool. Okay. I didn't realize that you could send it across that goddamn far. So how about... Yeah, if I wanted to. Oh, okay. Well, that... That changes a lot. I don't think I've been this way. No. Basic module up there. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Okay. Let's let's get going. Basic module again. At least we can trade a bunch of these in and hopefully get uh, an upgrade next time. Another basic module. But it's probably not worth the trip, to be honest. So this is definitely going to be one of those playthroughs where I'm I'm going to have to get a bit edit heavy on this, I think, because otherwise I think it's going to be just a re- Oh, shit. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, otherwise, I think it's going to be a bit more mundane than not. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to be get a bit edit heavy, edit heavy on the- uh, on that one. Uh, I guess energy capacity makes sense. Uh, okay, cool. At least we know where we're going. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh. Okay, there's a rifle module down there. I guess it would make sense to go get it, because I don't think we've got a lot left. No, we don't. Oh! Wait, is that a... Oh, that's peculiar. Why a knight? Can I scan him? Of all the things I was expecting to see, that wasn't one of them. <laughs> I guess I'll go back and get some my energy. That'd be stuff, right? Let's go. Let's go get that one. I've only got two ladders left. So is there a way to get up there without using them? That looks like something. Oh, okay, no. It's not. That's again a thing. Like you, you gotta be careful. You don't use too many of them, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna run dry ladders and then you're really screwed. Uh, basic module. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there with that one, though. Would it be smarter to put a ladder down from down here and go up? Or can I put a ladder across the cavern from the other one? Hmm. I guess we'll just go up. If I really need to, I can buy another one. Oh no, fuck. No energy. Okay, there we go. I'm really good at games. Monolith reactivated. Scraper unit 87C5. Your achievements know no bounds. Astral Cortex Industries is invested in your success. And thanks okay, hell yeah. We know we can count on you to finish the job and return the cerebral core to... I guess I'm going to go energy efficiency. Because you certainly... I mean... I think that's the trap it kind of puts you into. Like, early on, there's so much to pick up that you focus really heavily on it, but as the game goes on, there's less and less to pick up, and you rely a lot more on energy. So I might as well have, like, a whole bunch of these and get as much of this as I can. Deliver to K-18 is down that way. I'll mark. Mark. Oh, okay, so I can only mark ones that I've found before. Well, there's one over there. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I might as well do some last minute trading. Any more for any more? Ladder module. Yes. Cool. And actually, I can go across. Oh, energy module as well. Nice. It looks like I can get up from there. Whoa. Okay. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not. That would be silly. I'm gonna have a go and see what's down here, but I have a feeling this is the only way up for using the ladder. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, oh fuck! I've got so much weight on me! Oh no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Okay. Right. Okay. Right, where the fuck are you, little bastard? I really like the strafing mechanics in this. There's something really satisfying about them. So now the game showers me with fucking ladder modules. <laughs> and that's, again, like... At least there's a certain amount of reward for actually fighting the enemies. Because they will drop things that are useful. Whereas you do get, you get certain games where this it's just pointless, you just don't get anything for it. Like fucking fear and hunger. <laughs> Although that's a very different caliber of game. <laughs> okay, 
so we're not going to get... Well, we marked it, so fine. There's a few modules that... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that made me jump. There's quite a few things down there, actually. Is there a way to get down there without using a ladder, though? Well, I guess we go... Yeah, we'll go down that way and go through the gap. So... This is where sometimes maybe putting the ladder downward would actually be... Although, actually, I think it's probably faster still to do what I just did and run across it. Oh. You do very occasionally get caught in the environment, but so far this has been an extremely streamlined experience, so I guess I can't really complain about the occasional bit of... Is that a rifle module? No, it's a ladder. Okay. But I, can't, I really can't complain for how this thing's put together because it's it, it feels like it's been put together with a lot of love and care and attention. go trade in some of my my gear <laughs> I, I just got uh, an achievement I think it's the space equivalent of a chunky boy oh there's another one yeah why not <laughs> give me all the modules god my, my poor Space Boy is like wheezing. So just to talk a little bit about the whole play view thing, because I, I feel like I've been I won't lie, I mean I've just I've been having fun. This this is fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. But uh as as I sort of said in the last video, I, I do always want to keep a a review sort of perspective on these and what I am also going to be doing I, I know I said in the last one that I would be putting up the occasional community polls and that sort of thing and I very much still want to do that but I will clarify I am making a fair few of these before the Sun Hill 3 video even drops so with that in mind you are gonna see quite a few of these already pre-made just because I want to, you know, I want to get a little bit of a backlog going. I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying making these right now, and they're fun. I'm having more fun making these than I have on YouTube in, in a long while. And that's really the truth of it. I mean, this is, this is just a really, really relaxed time. I think I've already killed that one. Yeah. Wow, that's a valuable. And he's down there as well. Um, I guess I'll pick him off from afar. But these are, from what I've discovered so far of making this one and making the previous, these are fun to make. I really am enjoying just this very casual format. I'm going to run out of ammo if I'm not careful. And I put this up on the Patreon post when I put the mothered video up, but these strike me as the sort of video where, you know, just just put me on in the background and go go do something more interesting. <laughs> That really is the impression I get of myself in making these. Um, because I've never been the sort of person who wanted to make, you know... A, ah! Horror game! Ah, my god! Like, screaming, freaking out videos where everything is just so over the top and ridiculous and... 
you know, props to the people who can make them. I just can't. It's not. It's not me. Ooh, that was lucky. And there is, you know, there is a certain... I'm going to use the phrase market value for people who can make those videos because, you know, sometimes they, people just need a laugh and they just need to have a good time and that's, that's okay. And a lot of people get a lot out of those style of videos. I mean, hell, when you look at someone like Markiplier, honestly, I have a lot of respect for the guy. He's, he's always seemed to be a relatively genuine person and now look at him. I mean, he's making a an Iron Lung movie that he's... I mean, I don't know if he's fully funding it, but he's at least partially funding it. That's a passion project right there. And the means for him to, to do that were founded in what he does, which is, you know, he, he makes entertaining content that people... You know, they have fun. And... I will never be that guy where I can approach it with that level of carefree presentation, but I do at least hope that the fact that I'm having a good time is coming across. The fact that I am, that I've, uh, unfortunately when it comes to the edited stuff, I would sink my teeth into a video and it would take months, literal months sometimes to make a video that should not by all means take that long to make and that really is where this break is coming from because I have come to realize that I've fallen out of love with YouTube I've fallen out of love with the platform in general and the algorithm has never exactly been mega kind and that's okay because you know you that's just how it is some channels do better than others. It's just the way it is on this on this thing. But unfortunately, what that does do is it does create a certain it, it does foster a certain degree of mental exhaustion, which is very much where I'm coming from here. So the fact of the matter is, although I know that the edited stuff is is definitely what people want more from me. It's also the stuff that kills me to make. And that Silent Hill 3 video, like, it took me three months to make an hour long video. But when you think about the fact that it took me three months to make the Silent Hill 2 video, you, the only thing that's changed is me. And that's a video that's an hour longer that I managed to complete in the same amount of time. So, to, to bring this sort of tangent to a close, that's, that's really where this comes from. If I go back to making heavily edited stuff, it, it really needs to be... It needs to be a passion project again. Which, unfortunately... The channel hasn't been a passion project for a while. I, I wouldn't say a long time, but for, for a while. Um, let's go. I think again we're gonna <sighs> carrying capacity though. Scanning range. Yeah, okay, we'll go scanning range. I suppose we better get the most out of it. Okay. I guess really what I need to do is go down. That's that's going to be on the other side of the rock. So I think if I go up this way I can then work my way back down again. I don't have a lot of rifle module left. I should probably... yeah. That probably is the wiser thing to do. Okay, so module is down there. So let's go. Let's go that way.
Well, I'm not getting a whole lot out of this increased range, but that's probably because I've picked this area clean, to be fair. But at least in delivering this this package to the monolith, I'll... <laughs> that sounds really ominous. Delivering this package to the monolith, I can... Oh, okay, I already have a ladder down there, so let's... Oh, hey, what's this? Ladder, hell yeah, okay. Oh my god, there's one right there. I'm an idiot. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> okay. I think that was a rare bug. Because... I'm not... Oh, it's probably because I'm carrying a fuckload, so that's why I'm not actually getting a lot of jump. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't snap this ladder. Did, like that would be. I'd be upset, but I'd also be extremely impressed that they had gone out of their way to program a level of. Wait, is that being? Is that moved? Hmm. But I would be very impressed if they had even programmed that in. Uh, okay. I'm not going to bother getting anything else for now. So, oh, we're moving again. God, that, that is uh, really disorientating. Uh, okay. Is there anything down there, or have I already picked a plane? That's all over there. This might be risky. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. Oh, okie dokie. Let's get this. Get a little bit of a, wait, a little bit of a lag. Probably hunched over. That's your uh, windows. Ah, oh, his, his little camera, so happy. Oh, I've just realized that the camera actually. Okay, that's fun. Uh, the camera actually shifts with your uh, perspective. I hadn't noticed that. Do not open. So I want to know. Oh yeah, that that took off a little bit more than I was expecting. There's a couple over here, so we should be able to just drop off. He's starting to really breathe heavily. <laughs> Bless him, my poor Astro boy. I think I've been up here before, but at the same time... Screw it, I have a bunch of ladders. I might as well... Just make sure I don't fall off and plummet to my death. <laughs> Only one. Okay. Yeah, that really does disorientate. Oh. That's cool. I think that's like the first time that's properly happened where we've been on the dark side of the moon. Because up to this point, we've always had like a certain amount of light. Whereas we've never, like, I don't think we've had a moment where it's it's gotten that dark. Let's 
Yeah, am I gonna get... So what were those spooky skull things? Motherfucker. Oh god, this one's persistent. Fuck off. Oh god, yeah, it's it's the dark side of the moon thing, like... Okay, he's gone. That got me. I won't lie. Like, that, that got under my skin a little bit. Okay, I haven't been here before. There's one up there. So, oh, shit. They really do get you. Like, you don't expect it. It's, it's, there's no, like, anticipating it. It just happens. What did he drop? That's handy. Yeah, you really don't expect it. It just happens. They, they just come out of nowhere and then you have to react. I quite like that, to be honest. I like how they just pop up out of the ground and then you're you're just instantly thrown off you're off balance. Because I feel like if they would like... I mean, you got the floating head things and they're a little bit more obvious because they glow red and everything, but I really like how those things just sort of pop up and then instantly you are put off guard and you have to deal with it. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought I had something to... I guess not. Okay. Back we go. Oh, goddamn. Okay, there we go. You'd think he would descend faster with all of his packs. Okay, let's go. So I clearly have not been this way before, based on everything that we've just gone come across. How much... I don't have a lot of rifle ammo, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Saying that though, he's coming straight for me. Maybe I should just... Oh, I don't know. Do we pick a fight? Do we not pick a fight? What's over here? Okay, well that's another rifle module, so... I can just pick that up now and... When I run out of ammo, inevitably, I'll have another one. Oh, but that might have been a mistake. Okay, well I can still... Still have some evasion on me. Uh. God, these things are so creepy. I'm against a wall. Shit. I haven't talked a lot about the shooting mechanics, actually. That's something I really should have talked about by now, but... What I will say is that I think they're... I think they're really fluid, and it's... I really like how... You can tell that it's part of a bigger experience, if that makes sense. So, like, I couldn't class this as a shoot 'em up but at the same time, I know when that moment happens that the shooting mechanics are they're functional, like the over-the-shoulder aiming is is reliable, and the the dodge mechanics. I really, really like the this this thing. I think it's it's really nicely well done, actually. But I can also tell how this game wasn't designed to be, you know, a uh, it wasn't designed to be a lost planet. It was designed to have more of an exploratory nature. And it just so happens that shooting mechanics are a part of it. 
there's nothing to scream about. You know, it's no doom, but it, it's also really nicely done. Uh, okay, so I think I think this is gonna end up being a two-parter video, so we're gonna leave it Here for this one, and then we're gonna come back to it in another video uh, Okay, hello everybody welcome back to another play view today. We're gonna be doing part two of Moonrunner now um this pains me to say this. Full disclaimer. This is not part two of the playthrough that you saw me do. This is part two of my second playthrough. The reason being is that I recorded last night, before now doing this today, I recorded the second half of the game, about two hours, and yeah, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the game's finale overall, we'll get into that a little bit later, but unfortunately, due to some microphone interference, the audio recording sounded like utter garbage. So after hours of fighting with it and trying to get it into a place where it was reasonable and it wasn't going to sound terrible for you guys, I had to give up. So you're not going to see my initial reactions, unfortunately because I've played the game, but I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to come back and finish it off again, just so that you could see it and get to at least see an ending part to that first video. Um, I'm not happy about this, but there we go. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to jump in. This is part two of part two of Moonrunner. Okay, there we go. Let's let's jump straight in. Okay, so um, just to summarize from where I left things off last, so we have eight monoliths activated, and I've done a bunch of delivery stuff just so that I'm in a relatively strong position right now so upgrades wise I'm pretty good carrying capacities max and I've worked my way through the other ones a little bit more so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the remaining monoliths while running around and just just ran things off this is gonna be a very short video by comparison to what it was initially gonna be it was gonna be like an hour and a half I think but now I'll be surprised if this is more than half an hour, 45 minutes. Okay, so we're going to go energy efficiency and I don't think we have anything to trade at the moment, no. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to activate the remaining two monoliths and then uh, we'll see the end game and then that's going to be pretty much it, but as I said, I, I, still, I, I still had a really good time playing through this a second time actually. So we're gonna, oh god, <laughs> almost run off. We're gonna go through this now, and like I said, oh hello. It'll be a short one. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got it pretty good at running away. <laughs> Let's just deal with him. I think we can probably just zap him. And there we go. So that was one of the first things I wanted to touch on, is that I realized that that was actually a very viable option. You could just use the laser and absolutely wail on them. And sooner or later, like you get to a point once you've had so many upgrades that they just cannot take it. I'm pretty sure the other monoliths are going to be around here. So we want to go to our right, I think. Again, I've left a couple. Another thing I found, which is probably one of my favorite discoveries, is the fact that you can do this. <laughs> I love, I love his little, um, I love how you can get him just run at the speed of light. And also, 
the fact that once you get okay at it, you can run across ladders like this pretty quickly. So this is very much going to be... Ah, there we go. So this isn't going to be nearly as moody and atmospheric as the last one, because to be honest... Hello. Ah, I'm going to trade out. Come on. There you go. See what I mean? Like, you know, once you've got to a certain point, um, this game stops being moody and honestly just starts being more and more basic fun. And I'm okay with that because it, it definitely, it feels like a natural progression of going from something that feels a little bit threatening, a little bit, you know, ominous at times. And then you get to this point where you can just skim around this moon at warp speed and you really can get across this place quickly once you know where you're going and what you're doing. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so already we are playing things very, very differently. I have a few more discoveries that I want to show you guys. Uh, some of my favorite things in the game are coming up that I'm really looking forward to showing you guys because even in spite of the fact that towards the end this definitely stops feeling moody and you know that that side of things definitely wears thin but in its place this game gets a bit goofier and it's a lot of fun it really is Oh wow, okay, well we know where most of my deliveries are going. Hell yeah. Right, we're gonna... Okay, there we go, yep. <laughs> so that's my first one. Um, so you can hover in this game once you've unlocked it. And this is my second favorite upgrade of the game because even though it's not amazing, it is quite useful. Uh, let's give it a go. I think I have a bit too much weight, but there we go. So you can pretend you're Magneto for a little while and it can be really, really useful getting around. Um, oh, there's one over there. Let's grab this. Uh, again, we're gonna just... Oh no! Ah, oh, I got cocky. <laughs> if I uh, if I'd use some energy, there's a reason I'm saving my energy. By the way, just keep that in the back of your mind. I'm doing that on purpose. There we are. So all my stuff is up there, I think. Yeah, it's all over there. So let's hover up there. Ah, no. Yeah, so it's it's a bit temperamental. It, it's more of a get, you know, you sort of get up a little way and then, yeah, once you go down sort of a certain speed. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, once you get to a certain height, you're almost guaranteed to hit the ground, but that's okay because there's a second upgrade coming up that I'm going to show you where Falling from heights is no longer a problem. Believe me, there is an upgrade that will very, very quickly make that a trivial affair. See you later. <laughs> uh, I love. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. <laughs> I got cocky. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I dropped everything. Yeah, so... Like I said, this, this is a bit... It's better used for getting up places rather than using it as a means to save your landing. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's a really effective way of not blowing through all of your in it, uh, all of your rifle ammo. Is that if you just, uh, <laughs> I need, I, yeah, like I said, that dash is real effective at getting around quickly. Yes, yeah, so we're not gonna be able to float up there. It's okay. We have a billion ladders, so let's let's get on up. There we go. Uh, oh, there's another one up here. Hey. This might be a bit risky. Yeah. Oh! Oh no! So much for saving my modules. <laughs> okay. We'll, uh, we'll come back to him. Oh shit! Hey! Ah, oh, screw it. Should we just... <sighs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm pinned between two. We'll go down here. And... I got eight to go. Come on, place. Place it. Six. Can I make it? Three. Two. One. Oh! There we go. Right, let's, let's pick up a bunch of this stuff. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of deliveries, and there is... There's a lot of reason for that, which you guys are going to see, because it's going to come important later. <laughs> there you go. And the basic. Uh, what's over here? There's a thing over there. I guess we'll just... yeah. And that's kind of the thing as well, like, um, you can use your ladders and stuff a lot more effectively once you start getting the upgrades. Uh, there's also something else as well, which... let's just... I'm just gonna show you this. Hold shield while in the air to create a solid shield protecting you from falls. This is my absolute favorite upgrade, and I'm going to show you why. Let's just get back up here. Right. We got a fall? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, so you get to, um... You get to use your shield like a little bit of a, a pinball. And honestly, once you've got the pinball wheel thing and the the hover thing, a lot of the traversing becomes pretty trivial. But kind of in a good way because don't get me wrong, like this felt th this definitely felt earned going from going from from where we were before to oh fuck. Hey. Going from where we were before, I'm, I'm getting... Okay, yeah, we're just gonna... See... <laughs> yeah, so as a, a means of escaping, you can just charge ahead in one direction, and if you fall off a cliff, it does not matter. And you can come back. And absolutely wail on him. There you go. Game over. So yeah, upgrades wise, they're fun. I like the upgrades a lot. And like I said, uh, at the moment I've just been going through and delivering a load of modules and stuff because they are going to come in handy 
very, very soon. And as you can see, using the laser, once you've got enough energy capacity and got enough energy efficiency, using the laser to deal with, like, grunt enemies, it really trivializes it. So if you... Oh! Yep, there we go. I still got hurt, but I didn't die. So, that right there was a pretty good way of showing you why that's useful. But you gotta be quick though, because you fall quickly. Despite the whole gravity thing, you, you do fall very quickly. Can I get up there? Can I get this module? Ah, oh, yeah I can. Nice. Another thing as well is that you do very much have to be airborne for the shield to work, otherwise it'll just act like a normal shield and it won't save you. But there we go. Just pinball your way down. And that's number 10. Warning. Malfunction detected in the reactivation of the final monolith. The cerebral core's corruption is preventing the re-engagement of the lunar node's functionality. You are tasked with a new assignment. You must enter the core's chamber and clear the remaining corruption. The entrance tunnels have been opened. Make your way towards a tunnel and await instructions. Yeah, so if you remember from the uh, first playthrough, uh, we were looking at the the entrances and like you know what the hell are those kind of things and that is where those come into it because I was hoping they were gonna be something I didn't want them to just be an aesthetic thing that they're just there and whatever and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop all of these and we're gonna trade in all of our ladders because we don't need them anymore what we need is, we're pretty good for scanning range, what we need is a bunch of rifles and we need a bunch of energy modules. And those of you who are familiar with what might be coming up probably already know what's coming up. So now we are mega chonky when it comes to our our arsenal. And we are going to go and see what's down these holes. The mantle's energy output creates surface gravity. You can drop down into the tunnel safely and descend to the lunar node's core. Be warned, upon entering the main chamber, the cerebral core will use the monoliths to attack you. Neutralize them to clear the corruption and complete your assignment. So yeah, we have a boss battle ahead of us, and it's not anything particularly special, but I will say, before I went into the boss battle last time, I didn't have any of the I didn't have any of the upgrades I do now. I was pretty weak and I didn't stock up. So now that we are stocked up, we're probably going to win. But at least I can give you the opportunity to see it. So, here we go. There he is. It's a big fucking skull. So you know those things that were chasing us around? Those little spooky things? Um, that's what these are. So we have to destroy the modules. Uh... The, uh... Ah, uh, fuck me, my brain is not working because I'm getting attacked. The monoliths, we have to destroy We have to destroy the things linked to the monoliths. Which will then allow us to kill the main thing. And, again, if I wasn't mega stocked up... This would be pretty challenging. And I died a fair few times to this. 
Uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing me kind of... Oh. He's doing his thing. Uh, so, that's a red force field thing that he throws at you, and it deals a tremendous amount of damage. Once we get past these monoliths, he'll start doing that very regularly, which is why we want to deal with these quickly. Because what you want to do is have so much energy and stuff stocked up that you could just absorb that damage and it's not really an issue but if you don't have enough to do that he's doing it again do i have a, a hole i can jump into maybe 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 oh i managed it just uh we got a couple more of these but yeah if you don't have enough energy and rifles to deal with the issue and sort of take him head on you are just gonna suffer for it Okay, so we want to get his eyes, and that right there. See what I mean? Like that. I, I am constantly, I'm constantly activating my energy right now because, because that deals a lot of damage. But because we have, you know, we got ten energy modules, we got a bunch of rifles, and there you go. That's the boss. So yeah, what you would normally have in this boss area is you do also have a bunch of energy and rifle modules scattered around. But because I went the, you know, make my boy chonky in terms of energy and all that stuff, um... You can end your primary assignment at any time yeah, it's just a repeat. Uh, so we just have to zap this. However, you are free to complete your secondary assignments. And there we go. He is sucked into a black hole, I'm guessing, or or something. Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, this this wasn't exactly how I wanted part two to go. I wanted to give you guys a chance to sort of see my live reactions to it as we went, but unfortunately due to a fuck up, <laughs> that unfortunately didn't happen. But at the very least, I wanted to give you guys the chance to just see the ending and the boss fight and everything. And, and again, I will say, even though I already played this once, and I definitely completed this way quicker this time than I did last time, I think in my initial run, this took me like three to four hours because I was taking my time with it. You know, I was exploring in a comfortable, natural pace, whereas this time I very much sped run the first 70% just to get everything out of the way so we could get back to here and there we go. And even in spite of that, I really like this game. I really had a great time playing this. I think for a free experience, you cannot go wrong at all. And once again, I absolutely urge you to download this thing and play it. Yeah, overall, really enjoyed Moon Runner. Uh, I think it's well deserving of, of your time. And I guess that's all I've got to say that I haven't already said. I want to give a huge thank you to my top patrons, which would be Game Master, Dark Raptor 82, BFD Survivor, and Shikotsky. Thanks everyone who's maybe given this new farmer a try in terms of watching them. Again, I know it's not exactly the format that people have subscribed for or that they really want from me, but for the sake of my brain, this is what we're making from here on out, at least until something truly special comes up that I feel like I want to review. Uh, but okay, that's everything from me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.